Hey YouTube, Sam here. And uh, I don't know if you watched it, but I fixed the switch on this Milwaukee Sawzall that I got for free. And now it is working just fine. But the cord on it's been nicked a few times. It's cracking. It's been taped together. It's got a different end on the end of it. It's time for uh, maybe an original. I don't know. It's time for a new cord on this thing and since I got it working I figure it's uh, worth the free cord that I have. What I'm using I also actually tore apart the, uh, an old light like the uh, old stand lights that you uh, buy that have the really the bright stuff in them. Mind. You are responsible for yourself though. Uh, if you try anything I try and you hurt yourself I'm not responsible and if you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. And first of all, as you can see, it's all torn apart. The reason for that is because I replaced the switch. But really all it is, is uh, one, two, I don't know, eight or nine screws. There are a couple screws here, and a couple screws on this side, and then these ones here. So, uh, And then the wires end up kind of in this one wrapped around, and you got to them there pretty easy to do anyhow first of all make sure it's unplugged I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, cord and cut it right there for now so I have that get this out of my way it's going to come and it's actually the one I have anyways has had two blue um, acorn nuts on it and uh, to fix it I actually ended up using one of those and then I put this white one on here. But anyway, it's just white to white, black to black, green goes to ground. It's fairly simple. Now, I don't know if this has been fixed before and somebody's put this, this on um, as well. It could be you may have to actually open up this trigger and stuff the wires down in here. Uh, in that case, go watch my video. I didn't really show you how to fix the trigger, but I gave you a good look at what it was inside and uh, what I had to do to get this to work. Anyhow, so I do kind of have a feeling that this was probably something that somebody did after the fact. It does have this on here. Uh, pull that off you might want to go ahead and grab that because that will actually fit up in here and kind of hold the wire all right next up I'm going to go ahead and stuff this back on there first of all and then strip the wires slide that off of there and I'm going to check it looks like I did actually nick this black one unfortunately but what I'm going to do is actually so I don't want to lose a whole bunch more so that's kind of really sucks so I've made a few mistakes so I here now that I can find that I found um, not a mistake first of all I put this side back on uh, there's just a couple of bolts here that are screws here that screw this side back on so I can run all the wires to figure out how I need to run this uh, first mistake I realized was when I spliced into this one uh, if you're doing the same thing as me you should splice further down here because um, this was kind of a pain I had to put a butt connector on there just to make it work and uh, kind of jam it down in there and bend it um, and it's still a little bit more tight than I would like but I think it'll be okay. Second problem I had was I put some shrink wrap on there and the shrink wrap uh, won't fit over that connector there so I'm just leaving it. It's all covered I'm not worried about wires touching or anything like that and that is the last one of those sizes I have plus I can't afford to cut this off and lose any wires so 
it's going to be the way it is. It's a next thing, a uh, as we left off last time, I had cut into these wires a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, the green one was like barely even scratched, so I'm not even worried about that. It's the ground, but I went ahead and put a little piece of tape over that. The white one didn't get nicked at all, but unfortunately the black one did get nicked clear through to the copper, but it didn't cut the copper wires. So I just taped that up really good. I think we'll be all right. Uh, next thing, I put this up in here. Oh, I also put a terminal on the ground here so that I can uh, bring this up through and actually screw this down. I know my big fingers are probably in the way here. And that, I got a feed down through next to the switch. Most of the wires go next to the switch. Oh, uh, so anyway, we're taking and routing most of this around here. That'll go down that way. Um, the switch, there's a white, the white switch one actually goes up and through the top part here and then kind of up and over these. These are where we're going to splice into the wire there to put the switch. Yet again, um, if I was really doing this more right, I would take these out and directly put these into the switch. But quite honestly, if you watch my switch video, uh, things kind of fell apart a little bit in here and I don't want to have to do that again. So I'm just going to do what the last guy did and go ahead and put some uh, acorn nuts on it. So we're just taking this through and then black, black to black, white to white and things should work. You don't need to watch me strip these and uh, well she's all put together. I got this up in here. got the wires placed. Now if it was up to me I would have probably brought all the acorn nuts down in here but the last guy cut this white one too short so we're stuffing it up in the top up here. Black one back here and everything seems to be in there alright. Trigger pulls. Now I am going to go ahead and uh, plug this in and test it before I put it all back together. Uh, this is where I say if you do anything I do and you hurt yourself, not responsible. And I'm plugged in. We got power going to this thing, so you got to be careful, especially when you're touching the wires. I'm going to go ahead and hit the trigger and hopefully something happens. this is a high low so anyway so I'm, I'm good with the I have everything all hooked up ready to go we'll just put the other side of the plate on here I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it just to be safer Seems to be doing all right. Make sure I'm not pinching anything here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. There we go. That got was getting caught on that a little bit. All right, now with these, there's four uh, more machine screws, and those go in the this side here and then on the other side in the same spot because they go into metal. Um, so you got to make sure you keep those in the right order and then there's uh, the rest of them coarse that's what I heard I'm looking for the coarse threads go in the rest of these spots here so we're done with this I got a cord on it that was a free cord uh, I got a switch in it that I fixed so go check out that video if you are having problems with just the switch and I got a free Milwaukee actual Sawzall uh, for 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes of my time and free stuff that I already had. So uh, it, it pays sometimes to put some things together. I don't know. I really, really like my uh, cordless Sawzall. So who knows if I'll use this. And I got my Craftsman one, but uh, you never know. Uh, and maybe I can sell it at a garage sale or something who knows but at least it's working this this way so this is sam jack of all master none you all have a good one